Hello everyone, Author184 here, also known as St. Killjoy, and we're going to be streaming more of the Mass Effect 3 Special Edition on the Wii U platform. And joined with me today, we have Gremlins R Us. Say hello, hello. Grims. Hello. Oh, you can do a better hello than that. Hello? Hello. How are you? I'm doing right. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. <laughs> Now, if you were watching the stream earlier, you will realize that there was no mic, and that was unintentional, because the PVR 2 in HD requires you to manually pick mic every time, evidently. It does not save that setting. And then I can't see the chat, because it doesn't have a play in offline mode. And now you have lost your connection to the Mass Effect 3 server. You must connect again to access online features of the title. Yes, please connect me. Uh, X to connect, please. Wait, that was just for the online features, right? Think so? Um... Uh. Oops. No. No, I went down too far. You're really going to make me put in my information again? Yep. Ah, oh, there it goes. It remembered. I did not want to have to start stop the stream again. But yeah, if you go down here, like, let me show you, Krems, so I'm not crazy. If you go down to extras and options, and you got that 30 second delay, which would be oh so exciting. Um, but anyways, if you go to controller, you've got the rumble feature, the invert the axis, the camera sensitivity, the LR stick configuration, and the shooting configuration. So that doesn't involve the gamepad. If you go up to gameplay, combat, auto level up, Squad power use, auto saves, hints, action icons. That doesn't do anything about narrative, conversation mode, subtitles, Shepard's helmet, squad mates helmets, VO language, text language. That's got nothing to do with the gamepad. Go down the graphics. It's got a brightness setting. Just the brightness, N and 7, should both be visible. You know what? 7's not visible. That, I think, is the best. I can barely see the 7. I can barely see the end. Alright, we got that fixed. Did that save? Right. Yes, it saved. Okay. Sound. Sound has nothing to do with the Wii U gamepad. So, there's no way to send this to off TV mode. That makes me so sad. That makes me sad too. I know. I like playing it with the, the gamepad off TV mode. And that makes it like super stupid easy for me to stream because then I can see the chat because the p the Wii U and the PC share the TV. Yeah. You know, so it's like, oh, Wii U gamepad. It has its own screen. That like victory is all I can hear. You know, like yeah, finally. No, no, finally. Alright, so this is where we are. So how is the volume and everything coming through on the the uh the good old Twitch thing the, the stream? Okay. First um, okay, there we go. I'll leave vid messages then and you can do the same. Well, we'll say things. Well, you know, I'd like to say some things, but at this point in time there's really not a whole lot to talk about. Sadly enough. I'm just kinda like wandering around aimlessly. 
Visit the council before leaving. Oh, that's the docking door. Huh? Yes. All you seem fine. Excellent. Yeah, earlier I went flying solo and, and didn't have anyone double checking to make sure my settings were okay and it caught no mic volume at all for two and a half hours. Yeah. Is the is the stream going okay? Is it like lag spiking or anything? Or look pretty smooth. Looks pretty smooth to me. Sweet. It's always good Welcome, to know. Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Well, we can go to the Horta Memorial Hospital, or we can go to the Citadel Embassies. Welcome. We're gonna go to the embassies. Cause Karth, you know, his his game name's not Karth, but that character actor will always be Karth to me. Karth is currently in Medbay. Got banged up pretty bad. Have you have you played or seen any of the Mass Effect three stuff? No, not quite. Hmm. Now not like I feel like I need to give you like empathy. backstory. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Please I see the. It's loading fine. Excellent. And it's got sound this time. Yay! Hooray! Dee -dee -dee. Shrek Abyssal Prothean Obelisk. My journal's been updated and I have no idea why. Hmm. Okay, something tells me that's not the way I want to go. Could talk to Avina. She gives me directions in the Citadel, but... I don't know. Even though... You know, this is the third installment of Mass Effects. Like, the Citadel and stuff's never, like, you can help. the same. They always I'm make little changes to it. See that guy right there? That's what yeah. they call a Turian. Uh. They're colorful species. So we can go in that office there. Seasick Commander Bailey. And then over here you've got probably the council door. I'm like in exploration mode. It's my first time being here. Oh, we got here. Earth Counselor Donal Udina. Let's go say hi. Commander. Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. The blue chick is known as an Asari. Mm -hmm. If you never played the Mass Effect series, I highly recommend it. Unless you're just not into like that kind of RPG. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, True, but in the, the end, end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what, what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on our own and lose, what then? I don't, I don't expect, expect you to follow me without a plan. plan. Counselors, we have that plan. plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Protheans? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it, but it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And, and this is capable of destroying the Reapers. So, so it would seem. It's immense, immense and, and intricate. intricate. The, the full Baron, the, the Protheans, Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, Clearly the weapon is flawed. It, it was incomplete. incomplete. There was a missing component here. Something, something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they, but they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in Miss Shepard? What you see of the Reapers? It sure as hell be standing around arguing about it. 
and the demon is right. We need, we need to, to stand, stand together. together. Now, now more than ever. The Reapers, the Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy, They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we, we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planet must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit about our species. We can secure our own borders. Maybe it's too late. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, keep me in my office. <laughs> Meet him in his office. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Hopefully. Hopefully? Yeah, it's very political. Yeah, in uh, Mass Effect 1, I sacrificed the council. A bunch of silk Bite me in the ass at the moment. Asses, we may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm Wesley. Paladin's prime Mark Fedorian is the one that called the war summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Paladin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected, the Reapers are tearing us apart, and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The summit leaders set our war strategy, and this council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our, Our intel, intel says, says Primarch Fedorian is on Paladin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Good luck Commander. Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one, one other thing. thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate their spectre status. status. And there, and there are, are certain resources, resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Good luck. Ooh. Well, well, that, that went, went well. well. It's, a, it's start. a start. I'll, I'll talk, talk to the others, others in the meantime. Time. See if we can support this summit. summit. Move, Move things, things along. along. Thanks. Thanks. Ah, plus four renegade. Yeah, we want the renegade. I uh, trying to do a uh, renegade playthrough, but uh, I've been sneaking in some paragon because. You know, that's my personality coming through a little bit. Little, little Paragon, little Renegade, that's me. Yeah. Nope, cannot access that panel. Alright, let's see here. Press the start button. Where are we at in the journal? Strike Abyssal Prothean Obelisk. A Volus Diplomat needs a Prothean Obelisk. Recover it from the Shrike Abyssal. Deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. And then Priority Pelivine, Primarch Fedorian of the Turian Hierarchy. It's called a War Summit that presents an opportunity for the Alliance to request help building the Crucible. Unfortunately, Fedorian was caught in the Reaper attack on the Palavian Rescue, the Turian Primarch from Palavian's Moon. So we're going to have to leave the Citadel. Let's go visit Captain Karth. I guess it's Major Karth. And actually, it's Major Caden, but I don't care. He's always going to be Karth to me. Let's go visit Karth before we uh, just leave. Since, you know, he got hospitalized on the last mission with me. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like bad for people's health. Do 
Look at all these loading screens. So what does Grimms think of the game so far? Uh-oh, did we lose Grimms? Oh, that's me, sorry. Oh, it looks pretty neat so far. Dr. Michael. Shepard, yeah. there you are. Dr. Charles, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Charles. I accidentally. Coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Kate gave the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Alenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. You belong in the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's medbed, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. Woohoo! We got Dr. Chuck Cos back. Shared a bottle of ale with Dr. Chalk Cause and Mass Effects too. Hmm. So the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Alright, there is Dr. Michael. Commander Shepard. I'm Ed Physician, Dr. Claude Michel. It's a pleasure to meet you. I assume your ear about the Major Alenko. <laughs> no's an option. <laughs> The head drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wars. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Right. Reputation went up plus two. Yep, scan my. So yeah, that's one of the nice things about the Mass Effect series. There's going to be a lot of uh, cutscenes, conversations, story matters. Meet you back here. Hi, doctor. Well, a lot of people like sick in the med bay, and some people just lounging. Right, this room is empty. Yep, they're notorious for hiding stuff in every nook and cranny. So I do. Uh, Try to be th pretty thorough in my exploration of the Citadel. Boom. There's your eye candy, Grims. Hey, Kate. Eye candy? Stupid. Don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> but since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm going to take my chances. Let's see. If you can hear me, but since you can't tell me to tell him and take my chances. On your feet, soldier. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. You seem like a hell of a soldier. The Alliance oh, could oh, sure okay. use you. I could use you. 
If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Come on, Major. Fight. And that's an order. That's an order, and you can't go back in there. All right. We did... We did this thing. All right, we're done with the Citadel. For now. Yeah, if you were to think kind of like MMO standards... The Citadel is like the hub moment, of the galaxy, basically. There's my ship, the Normandy. Doesn't look badass from here. Let's go get aboard. Do 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 bum 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 bum. that that boy in the uh, tutorial mission um, this boy that you see running around in the background was a part of the tutorial mission and he ended up dying on a shuttle that exploded oh no so I'm guessing we're feeling some regret maybe from that crying <laughs> yeah that's kind of like how he died <laughs> the uh, the ship he was in yeah so I would say Shepard's feeling some guilt Initially, we, we tried to get the boy to come with us, and the boy ran from us, and so... If he would have been on our ship, he'd still be alive. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support. But he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard? I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. 
I need the Normandy function. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. In any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For a long time, that is. The only navigator oversees the retrofit. Got it. Wait, wait. Since when does virtual intelligence make request? Eating AI. Police self-aware. Oh, I knew you were. I knew you were lying. Check request to the attendee to be a simple AI to protect myself. I apologize for this tension. Thanks, Thanks to the DC, and I apologize for all the mental talks about how attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a talk? I think it would be impressed by the upgrade. In the CIC, you'll find the Galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission specific intel and more analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down on the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's cleaning up that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it's just flies in my colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to teach you at the VidCon. I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Solarians. I'll, I'll bypass the Council. He'll appeal directly to their leadership. That's, that's good. I like it. This, this is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for cause. What about, what about the Protheon device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the reapers across every corridor before they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pull all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better your chances of punching through. You can, you can count on it, sir. It's, it's not, not just me, me. It's, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance, Alliance forces have to hold out until, until we deal with the enemy. I understand, I understand that. Good. Good. Then they make it happen, Commander. I'll be, I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Yes, that is the voice of Lance Henriksen. Okay. Alright, so this is the war terminal. Let's just check this out. War assets. The people, weapons, armies, and fleets that you've accumulated are your war assets. The overall readiness of the galaxy determines how effectively these assets will perform in the final battle. So we got Engineering Corps, the 103rd Marine Division. Admiral Mikhailovich, Alliance First Fleet, Alliance Third Fleet, Alliance Fifth Fleet, and Deanna Allers. I picked her up um, when I first got on the Citadel before I quit streaming earlier. Alliance Frigate is the Normandy, so that's how they figured up the 595. All this makes 595. Interesting. So my total military strength is 595, my readiness rating is 50%, and the effective military strength is 297. Interesting. So this is the war map. 
Each conflict zone has a readiness rating that reflects its ability to contribute to the final battle left unattended. These zones can deteriorate and reduce to the overall readiness. So basically everything's at 50%. Council space, terminus system, earth alliance systems, outer council, act out of and traverse. Very interesting. Very detailed. Let's see here. What is the more information? Oh, just gotcha. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Alright, so if I go to the final battle now, I'm pretty well boned. Is what that tells me. Uh huh. Apparently, something's gonna come in here later. I don't know what. Yeah, as you recruit and do different things, at least the, the way it was in Mass Effect 2, is different areas of the ship became unlocked and uh, more was added to as you progressed and gathered supplies. So I'm thinking they kept that same that that same uh, kind of scheme. Model Alliance shovel. Ah, oh, so are the models in play? In the second one, you could go around the galaxy and gather up models and hang them up. We'll have to go check and see if it's in the same spot. Mm. That makes sense. This I is odd the setup. Come on, if Thessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Why am I being scanned on my ship? Wow, that's the lab? Oh, don't scan me again. Scanning sounds painful. Uh, it's, it's like, why is this even here? <sighs> so, this used to be a lab. This is not a lab anymore. And there used to be a, uh another passageway over here on the, in the previous game and now it's a dead end to this someone's been messing with my ship and this is not a tech lab anymore this is where Morden used to hang out oh don't scam me again oh Every time. Every time, man. Oh, we're not going to go that way too often, I don't think. So, Joker should be down here in the cockpit. Nothing to talk to. Nothing to see. Alright, here is Joker. He is voiced by Seth Green. Mm -hmm. Like from Robot Chicken? Yeah. Same Seth Green. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. Wow, the cockpit looks really different too. Commander. All right, so that's apparently all the uh, conversation we're gonna get out of him right now. Hmm. Nothing else to view. This is the airlock to go out, and obviously we're in space, so we can't go space. out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just checking everything because in the other games, the Normandy had little little areas that you could uh access and whatnot. Points of information. There used to be a door here. What is this? That took my door away. Yeah. Let's, let's see what else they've done to my ship. Can I not use the elevator? Yep, thank you. Okay, let's check out the captain's cabin real quick. I just figured, you know, we'd go on a little, uh, ship exploration at the beginning, you know. See what they've done to it. 
I was kind of expecting it to be like it was in the second one because it's the same ship and it didn't blow up. Ah, oh, my aquarium used to have fish in it. Now it does not. Private terminal, access email, squad selection, and tactical mastery. Hmm. Any messages sent to me? Special ops, reinstatement, emergency flash traffic urgent, your N7 Defender Armor, Valkyrie Assault Rifle, the Argus Rifle, and new Sniper Rifle. ANN Alert New Article Corian Fleet. Hmm. Check on the Corian's party mission, Eden Prime. Well, we've, uh, Cerberus has attacked Eden Prime, so we're going to end up going back to Eden Prime again. Let's see here. Let's go to our squad. We got Liara and James. Why for info? Uh huh. Can I? You can cycle appearances. That's for when you get them loyal. Or no, they have appearance cycle now. Oh, let's let's get her dressed up like that. What about you? What kind of? We're going to go with that version of James. Alright. Can we not access there? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Yep. Yep, since I have no other choices to make. Turn update priority Eden Prime. Alright. Armor locker. There it goes. Took a minute. Alright. Armor set one. Armor set two. The N7 Defender. Takes a minute to load the helmets. Alright, I'm gonna mess with this later. I don't wanna mess with this right now. going to go with that as our casual option though. For now. Okay, there's the sound system. That's from the previous game, but it all doesn't... it looks a little different. Mm -hmm. Now, up here is the models. And so right now I only have two models collected, and so a little tiny one off the left. As you can see, there's room for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten models. Mm -hmm. Oh, and looks like it's expanded. There's model space over here as well. So apparently there's going to be more models than the last game. Also, you can buy things throughout the space to fill up your office. And then this room is the shower, toilet, all the good stuff. Mirror. Um, that used to be a shower. That doesn't look like it's a shower anymore. Oh, they put the shower over here now. There's something popping up over here, but I guess maybe... Alright. And the toilet flushes. And it actually flushes. Jeez. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Got that detail, right? Yay. Alright, so we've Thanks. we've investigated the uh the cabin now. We were on the uh combat center. Let's go to the crew deck. And this is where you'll be able to uh talk with the crew and advance the personal storylines and stuff, which is always important after every mission to go around and talk with the said crew. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there everybody that's died? Ass and Chase. I don't recognize any of these names. Ashley Williams. Yeah, I didn't recognize that name. Apparently these are all the people that have died. Okay, this used to be the uh, medical bay. And it's now the observation deck. Okay. Hmm. I might be remembering it wrong. Alright, crew quarters. And wow, this used to be a little different too. It's been changed. And this is... What is this? Model. Destiny Essentia. Woohoo! We've already found another model hiding on the ship. Dun, 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 dun. The port observation. They've got the uh, the card table set up this time. Wonder if we'll actually use it. They uh, used to talk about playing cards in the other ones, but they never really showed it. Maybe they will show it this time. Here's the men's restroom, the men's shower, and I bet you these toilets would flush too if we found out. And this right here is the women's restroom, and for the first time ever, you cannot go into it. So the medical base should be over here. There we go. And there's Dr. Chakos. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Have I ever told you I don't like doctors? Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Your system is still detecting the implants as foreign bodies. There's no help, but your scars are having trouble healing. I recommend reducing stress levels. Be compassionate. I'm giving everything I got. I'm just saying, a little more optimism and a little less realism could help for my mind. Anyway, anyway, it's, it's just, just a cosmetic issue. Nothing to worry about. That's it. Here's a picture of health. health. How's our inventory of The med bay was fully stopped, stopped before, before you left, left Earth. We should we be good for a long time. Even, even given the amount of fire you take these days. Have you ever met Red Works or Rivers? We didn't work for them. We, we used them. them. If, if I were to kill anything, it would be guilt. We took, we took their money, took their, their best people, took their best ship. <laughs> we used them to defeat the collective, and now we are using their resources against them. This is a no. I don't regret it. One You've never, never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professions. The alliance on my side, and you are all my children. I'm, I'm blessed with many, many close friends. friends. But with, with each of our assessment taken, I lose, I lose one or two. We need, we need to, to end this war. I'll see, I'll see you around, you around Doctor. Take care, care Shepard. You can see why I told her to get her ass back on the ship. Mm -hmm. She's pretty yep. awesome. Yep. What is this? Bonus powers. 
Conversations with your companions, companions will unlock bonus powers, so now there's even more reason to talk to everybody. Awesome. <coughs> what is this? Is that the same thing? Okay. Shepard's powers, the R's powers, James's powers. Reset. Oh, you can reset your uh, your points. Interesting. No, I don't. I don't need to reset. I'm very thorough about. This is where Legion used to hang out, and that's the AI unit that we took off the Mars mission that we just did. And then around this way used to be Miranda Lawson's office. And the office is still there, surprisingly. It's now Liara's office! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Makes perfect sense. And it does not look even remotely close. Oh my gosh. They made a lot of changes. Liara is the shadow broker. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old Broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you took over as the galaxy's most... famous information trader? Notorious might be a better term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt... Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. Oh no. I know you and Tally grew close. Is that in the past? Should I forget there was anything between us? <laughs> yeah, let's just be friends. A lot has happened since then, Liara. I don't think we'd work anymore. Really? I... Thank you for letting me know. I think it's best for both of us. Of course. Well, anyway... I should get down to business. There's a lot to do if we're to discover exactly what the Protheans left us. Yeah, I'm not, uh... Never was a real big fan of Liara's. Hmm. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Yeah, in the, in the first game, you could either have a relationship with her or a relationship with Ashley. And I hate Ashley. hated her. But I was always kind of annoyed because there was Tally, and I, you know, if I could have like picked one to have a relationship with, it would have been with Tally. But she wasn't an option in the first one. Oh. And yeah, I know, right? They, they had it for Liara and, and Ashley, so... Please and the second one... Tally became an option, and so I got kicked like everyone else to the curb. But Tally, with the exception of uh, you know Jax, because Jax is awesome, but 
when I was doing the uh, Genesis thing, Tally was the only option. There was no... See, in, in Mass Effect 2, you could have a relationship with Jax, Miranda, or Tally. And on the Wii U, they kicked everyone to the curb, and it's like, you can either have something with Tally, or you can have something with Liara. There is nothing in here. This used to be uh, Garrus's hangout back in Mass Effect 2. Don't let a brute get close. Brutes are vicious opponents that can instantly kill you. That does not sound good at all. This is the news person. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Venezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just, you just doubled, doubled my rating. rating. I don't, I don't need, need FaceTime, face time. I'm just, just a data, data upload. upload. Your story, Your story is server. Service. They're a clear and present agent, everything, everything we try to do. Alien audience will hate it. Hmm. So, so they're, they're created, created to Earth, Earth and, and the galaxy. galaxy. I wouldn't, wouldn't have, have to work, work it much. much. You, you, you do, do have, have an inside, inside track, track on Cerberus. All right. All right. Your info, and I'll plus two, reputation plus two. Nice. She gets a bed and everything. Seems like everyone's got their own bed in their room. That's very interesting. All right. So, can we talk to her again, or was that Commander. it? Yep, that was it. All right. So she's in the starboard hold. That's uh, you know good to know. And apparently you cannot go in this room anymore. Uh oh. Yeah, that's where they kept the Krogan. Down here is Jack's home away from home. There's something there. Oh, another uh model piece. Oh, oh another model. Looks like all the models that were available in the last game, they've just hidden across the ship for anyone that actually took the time to explore the ship. Alright. Oh, it's loading. Why is it loading? Stop loading. And this is engineering. And who is Engineer Adams? Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, right. it's that they know how to build a ship. You're fine. About that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got the ship, Dr. Chakras contacted me, asked me to help with your mission against the Collective. I refused. I didn't have your back. Sorry for that. Why did you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was a real you. I certainly didn't trust our purpose. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my folks. You know? You can make, make up for it on this tour. Yes, yes, sir. 
Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Britain Zenith, Alliance Agricultural Vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSB Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. Is the new Normandy stack up to the old SR1? Stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus Dry Corps has been completely overhauled. The SR2 might be nearly twice the size, and the new Dry Corps is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, the Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past their limits, this Corps would bend into engineering. Just give my team an incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do you do your job or get vaporized? Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers of cyclonic technology. Should it help reduce the draw when under missile fire? Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers? The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue ship of our missions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FPL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the remedy is a marvelous engineering. What do you, what do you think of Edie? Edie? We, had we had a good talk during the retrofit. A little, a little strange at first. Talk shop, shop and AI. AI? AI. I, thought I thought Edie, Edie posed as a BI to keep the likes of you, you from unplugging her. Yeah, yeah, but, but I saw it through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then, and then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If, if I hadn't had her egg, I would have sworn I'd be losing it. I figured, I figured I'd better play it safe with the server as AI. No offense. Not taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cockpit, processors. In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantage. Even grew to like her. Is that everything? Yes, it is. Gary Ariana. Aye, 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 sir. And then here's the drive core. And there's that darn loading screen again. Ugh. All right, let's go to Shuttle Bay. We've not seen James yet, so I'm figuring he's got to be in Shuttle Bay, right? Maybe. Who is this? Lieutenant Cortez. Lieutenant Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chain, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios, straight to business without even a hello. You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chain, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos. The Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network through a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when in there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up the procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dock ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over a shuttle pilot on the left after. Especially given Mr. Vega's law mid-air collisions. I'm also responsible for logistics. Make sure the armory and shuttle props stop to maintain. Service record. Well, I love you, I love you, I love About 10 years. I enlisted in the first fleet serving in the SSC Hawk, Hawk, flying out of the SSC I love I love the Trident. I love the Trident. I love the Trident. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying. Got a bit of reputation. So, you fly fighters and antics. Yeah. And I got a knack for German too. They were grooming me for CAD, but my skill set made me more valuable than a man white deck. They signed me with the Normandy Retro Team about five, five months ago to oversee all, all cargo and modifications. modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? It was sent, it was sent, sent to the tech, tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility for such a small ESO core, this design sacrificed armor plate. The lab, the lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the reefer invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. Kodiak seems a bit different. 
Good eyes, Good eyes Commander. This is the UGT 47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. Quick, quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick. That's why you need a good pilot. You may you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, that's the final. The first director of Vivid was to be on the armory down deck, 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 deck two. I'm not sure, not sure what, what service engineers are thinking. Now, now you get, get off the elevator, elevator, pick the gear, and head right, right, right to the shuttle. Just like the original normal. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the Alliance, Alliance Commander. Commander. You were stationed, we're stationed out there. there. You have that over there? I'm an only child. child. Lost, Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors, the collectors took out the whole colony. colony. I'd, rather I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up, Keep the, up good the good work. work. Yes, yes, Commander. Commander. He had a husband. By shotgun, pistol, sniper rifle, and assault rifle mods. Armor also available. 10% markup. Pistol magazine, stunner, spare thermal clip, shotgun spare thermal clip. Model Alliance Kodiak. Uh, let's go ahead and purchase that. Yep. Screw the uh, weapon upgrades, I'm just going to buy the model. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Alright, weapon upgrades. Predator 2, Shuriken 2, Avenger 2. Hmm. Let's see here. Mantis 2. Improved weapon damage, ammo capacity, and weight. That's gotta go. Definitely. And then let's go ahead and upgrade the Predator 2. And then let's upgrade the Avenger. I hope we can upgrade the Mantis again. Let's let's do that, yeah. Let's just upgrade the weapons I like, right? Yeah, yeah, one more time, why not? Hmm. I'm going to blow all my money on weapon upgrades, I think. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Okay, leave it alone. <laughs> Stop spending money. <laughs> oh, there's a gunsmith. Let's let's see how high this gunsmith thing went. The M3 Predator 2. Avenger 2. Money there, didn't I? It was for a worthy cause, I'm sure, right? Definitely, maybe. Alright, I may upgrade the Avenger 4. That's Mantis. F I could have sworn about Mantis 5. Did I not buy the Mantis 4? Second, we gotta go check that out. I did not buy the Mantis 5. Oh, don't want to spend any more money on that. I don't know. I do not know. I know. I'm, I poured a ton of cash. <laughs> 
game just started. It's like, here, you start out with this much money, and I just poured almost all of it into that. Oh, another uh, model picked up. There's Mr. Vega. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palatal. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <sighs> you down here for a reason? <sighs> it's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. <sighs> Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. <laughs> you sound like my old CEO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> What do you what mean, mean what? Die. Die. With most of my squad. squad. Protect me from the civilian colony from the collector attack. And the, and the colony? colony? It was Which I am then? What the intel we had on the collectors? The intel we could have been destroyed. I chose the intel. Sorry. Sorry. That's, That's a tough, tough call. call. The best part was, we didn't really, really need the entire thing. Because you were out saving the galaxy, galaxy by taking down, down the entire, entire collector, collector home world. You didn't, didn't know. know. You can't, you can't blame, blame yourself, Vega. Who says, Who says I'm blaming myself? myself? <laughs> I do. You, you shrink too? too? Nope. nope. But that's that stunt back, back on Mars, Mars reckless. reckless. You're lucky, You're lucky to be alive. alive. So? 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 Maybe you don't, you don't care, care that you're gonna die. Or maybe. maybe. <laughs> I'm just I'm willing, just willing to, do to do whatever the fuck it takes in this goddamn God 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 world. <clears throat> maybe you, maybe you are. But if you're here, happy as I think, think you are. are. We need, we need you alive. alive. Thanks, Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Anytime. Hey. Hey. Thanks, Thanks for the dance, Loco. Loco. I can think of worse things, things to call you. As long as, as, long as, as you remember who's in charge. charge. You can call, you can me, call me whatever you want. want. Oh, I, oh, I won't, won't forget. forget. That was an interesting little thing. Yeah, that was an interesting conversation. Yeah. Is that another model? Of course it's another model. Yep. All the models from the uh, last game are hidden throughout the ship. Alright, is that all he had to say? Or is he... There he is. Over there in the corner. Bunch of whites and yeah, hey, he's yeah. a he's a meathead. What's up? You mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. You want the rest of the story? You're gonna have to get me really drunk, or or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic. 
You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. <laughs> you got family back on Earth? Yeah, yeah, an uncle. An uncle. Retired, Retired military. military. Got a few got cousins, cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your you uncle, uncle close? close. Yeah. yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines. It was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not at all. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a local, huh? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime when me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It go to his head. I'll go to his head. I'll talk to I'll you, talk later. you later. You bet. bet. So it's it's interesting because in the first game you had the the Normandy ship and it was it was a lot like the ship is now this time. And the second game they'd broken away from the design of the first ship and now in the third game that's like a cross between the second and third ship and now we have all of these and we're still missing a couple so maybe they all weren't on the ship and there's the one I bought alrighty let's actually get on with the, uh, the mission I spent an hour running around the ship. It's always a lot to do in the Mass Effects games, though. Mm -hmm. And they really do have a really amazing story. Private terminal, email, tactical mastery. Already went through all the emails, yep. And then there's Mother, specialist trainer. Just check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up black and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay. Ow. Yeah. You're on your own. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I changed up that military anyway. anyway. My father didn't have the university. When the lights went up to school, they offered me a scholarship. I still have my five years, years of graduation, and it's my first day. I really, I really like the challenge the lab. lab. Although, Although, I'm, I'm sure I'll grow to love for myself as well. I'm surprised you're worrying, worrying about a toothbrush. You've got, You've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing, seeing the reapers on Earth is terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC. Being here in the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the reapers, it's you. And if driving the messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You work with the Alliance R&D? Yeah. yeah. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of timeline data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for, me, for me, anyway. Where are you, Where are you from? from? A colony in the terminus systems, actually. 
though I studied on Earth and Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom and colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot, a lot of people back, back on Earth are still alive and, and counting us. Quite, Quite true, my mother. Carry, Carry on, on, specialist. Alright. We have talked with everybody, I do believe. Let us get on with the game, shall we? Hmm. I can get behind this. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy 